90% of lagoon problems come from one source, and that's lagoon sludge. I get calls all the time from people who have odors, who have issues treating their BOD and TSS, and, and are experiencing violations on their discharge requirements, on people that have high ammonia, where their ammonia coming in is actually lower than their ammonia going out. Do the mass balance on that. And sludge is the cause of a lot of these issues. Um, and it does a number of things that cause this. Number one is that as sludge builds up, it actually reduces the amount of time, what's called the hydraulic retention time, you have within your lagoon. So now, instead of on day one you had 20 days, now you've got 10 if your lagoon's full of 50% of sludge, and that makes a difference to BOD treatment. Number two is sludge is essentially undigested BOD in a lot of cases, at least 50% of it is. And so it is consuming oxygen that could otherwise be used by the bugs to, to consume the incoming BOD. Um, and those are just some of the problems. When you have shallow lagoons, you tend to grow more algae, and algae also uh, gets fueled by the nutrients in the sludge, which then also cause TSS and BOD issues. So your number one thing to think about as an operator, as an engineer of the lagoon is what are your sludge levels, how are you managing that sludge, and when does that sludge need to be removed?